What's up guys, Monkey Bacon here from Soccer Monkey Development, and today we're going to be starting on our actual game. And we're our project from now on that's going to help you learn a lot about Love 2D is going to be a top-down, super simple shooter. And uh, I just want to say that we're in a point in your guys' learning in these tutorials um, with Love 2D that you probably might have some questions and just feel free to ask them or leave a comment. If you if there's something that I explained poorly, which is probably the case, um, you could just feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you or message me on my channel, Sock Monkey Development. Uh, you can add me on Skype. I'll put my Skype name in the description. I think it might be Monkey Bacon. So and you can message me on there. You can Skype. You know, make an amazing two billion dollar game. Yep. Okay. So today. We're going to be working with tables and more than just config and main.lua. So, just for organizational issue, organizational um, purposes. There we go. My bad grammar. Thanks for not hating. My bad grammar. Um, we want to spread out our files and all that. And let me just say one thing: that you can load, you can set variables outside of love.load. You could set zombie x right there and it wouldn't matter love.load is just for other things like setting I mean ah, it's kinda of hard to explain I'll explain that later but just know that you don't have to put things in a function to set them as a variable okay now what I was gonna say is we just to be organized we're gonna separate out our files into a bunch of different files each file is gonna have its own purpose and all that so in fact let's start Let's make a new file right now. Save it as player.lua. And okay, oh my god, I did that. I filmed this twice because my mic wasn't on before and I knew that was gonna happen and I didn't stop it. Okay. Enough of me being stupid. Let me just say right now, okay, so when Love2D goes through our game, right? It's gonna find config.lua, read through that. It's gonna find main.lua, read through that. But there's no purpose for it to go through player.lua. It doesn't know what it is. It's just like, eh, whatever, just leave it there. So, what we need to do is somehow include all the code inside of player.lua into our game. And to do that, we have to go to the top of main.lua and type in require, and then make a string, and the string is going to be called uh, the name of the file that you're requiring. So, player.lua. So, require player.lua. So now, whatever we type into here, it's just like typing it in right here. Um, so, let's get started with making our player. And we're going to be making an array or a table. If I say a table, I mean array. If I say array, I mean table. Honestly, I don't know what the difference is. If you do know, please leave a comment or message me because I, oh my god, I, I, I've been wondering that forever. Okay. And in this case, it's not going to be for any normal table purposes. It's just going to be to help us keep organized. And it'll make sense a lot more what the purpose of an array is when you start doing tables and enemies and all that. But for now... We're going to make player a table to help load him. So we're going to do player equals and then open curly bracket, close curly bracket. That means that player, this is a table right here, right? So that means whenever we use player, it's referring to the table. Now, this can get confusing because we're going to be, use playing, we're going to be using player to set the player's variables. And what I mean by that is to set the player, player's x position, we're going to be typing in player.x. Now, I know that really makes hardly any sense, but it will once we start getting into more advanced stuff with tables. And tables is probably like one of the hardest things to comprehend in programming with Love2D, but once you get it, it's just, oh my god, it's amazing and it'll help you out in your game programming so much. Okay, also, I just gotta give props out to the Love2D forums, because I mean, that's where I learned everything, that I, ju I just asked them a bunch of questions, but if you are getting farther than... You, like these tutorials if you're just like shooting ahead of these tutorials just go on there and ask them questions about what they should what you should be doing next you can ask them anything and they'll help you out because I've been kind of lazy about putting these out I'm sorry guys player.x and then we're gonna set it to a number I'm gonna set that to 10 and then we're gonna do player.y equals 10 um player dot speed equals 10 everything's 10 um and right now, these variables don't mean anything, because we're not using them. They just, they exist. We, yeah. So we're, but we're going to set a couple more. 
before I finish up here. Player dot health. Set that to twenty. Player dot. Player dot. Uh, damage equals one point five. Like my failed beatboxing. Actually, I'm gonna set player damage to two. And okay. So we have all these awesome variables, but we haven't done anything with them. We're probably gonna be doing that the next tutorial. Yay! Drawing the player next tutorial, maybe moving him, and in the net tutorial after that, hopefully we'll get to bullets. But that's really advanced stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, hope this helped. Remember, love to d forms. You can find me. I'm Bacon Hawk A7X. Yeah, it's totally still left from Destiny. Um, so hope this helped. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends.